All right, hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm just jumping on here real quick for a minute to warn those of you that live in Australia because I know I have a couple or more, I'm not sure how many now, subscribers from Australia. Now listen to this short video. <clears throat> it's um, Andrews is now canceling people's unemployment benefits and freezing them. It says emergency alert. Dan Andrews in Australia is now freezing people's bank accounts for the unvaxxed. Okay, this is off-grid desert farming with Paul and Adrian. So th let me back this up and play it again. And Andrews is now canceling people's unemployment benefits and freezing their bank accounts, you know, canceling the doll, their pensions or whatever, if they haven't had the jab. Hey mate, it started in Victoria. They're shutting people's bank accounts, taking their money, telling them to go and get a vax, cutting them off the doll. It's already happening today. My friend just rang up crying, saying they've taken our money, they've sent it to the doctor, booked her in for a vax, cut the unemployment benefits, gone into the bank account, and um, given her a QR code so that but, uh, she can't use it unless she gets a vax, and she can't buy anything unless she gets a vax. Oh my God. Y'all, where's my camera? Okay, now, don't panic. Remember, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. And He will direct your path. I don't care if you only have a, two slices of bread, a scrape of peanut butter, and, and a tablespoon of jelly left. He will multiply it if you trust Him. Most people have more than that. They got at least some soup and maybe a couple... You know, some meat or uh, something. He will multiply it, make it last till he comes for you. If you're a part of the bride, now what if you're not? What if you haven't really repented? You didn't want the, the, the venom, you know what I mean? But you're not part of the bride. And now they're freezing your account. What are you going to do? Are you going to cave? When, what about when this comes to America? And we're still here. If we're still here or we're not, say the bride is gone, but you're left. They start taking your money out of the bank. What are you going to do? What are you, you, going to do? Are you going to cave? You got to remember to trust in the Lord with all your heart. I'm not kidding. This is takes it's going to take serious commitment you must repent of your sins and be found worthy to die do you get that be found worthy to die not that you'll die of hunger but you're going to have to leave and start living off the land when what you got runs out unless you call upon the name of the lord when the bride comes back in our glorified bodies, we will come to you. And we will get you to a safe haven where there is food. We will be able to multiply food like Jesus did because he said, Greater things than these shall you do. And for those of you who are part of the bride, that are found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass because you have given your life fully over to the Lord, repented of all your sins, you stay in forgiveness, you keep forgiving others, you keep doing good where you can, and so forth and so on. You live by the word, in other words, you are working out your salvation with fear and trembling. That means you fear the one that cannot just take your life, but can take your life soul and spirit to hell or to heaven the almighty who can do all things for you or not where will you fall on judgment day this is what i'm talking about no more fooling around no more asking questions like you're trying to be argumentative you get right with jesus if you haven't already and you be prepared to live without a job 
federal assistance, social security benefits, whatever you're on, do not, do not fall prey to the venom or the toxin of the Antichrist. You got me? I hope you do. I'm ending this now so I can get it up. And if you live in Australia, you get to an ATM and see if you can get your money out. I don't care what's coming due. I don't care what automatic payments come and due. You take all the money you can out. Because we're here. We're at the end. This is just another sign. And it's a big one. This is not fear mongering. It is warning. Huge difference. Huge. Please share this with all you can. If you know anybody in Australia or anywhere, it could be happen to us by the end of the week. We don't know. We don't know. My Social Security income is due to come into my bank on the 3rd. Will it be there? Will it be froze? I don't know. I don't care. Because I know I got enough I can make it stretch. And Jesus will sustain me until we're out of here. I'm not going to worry about it. And you shouldn't either. He will provide. He will send someone your way. You would not believe what all he can do. Well, you should believe. Just get your nose in the Bible and the Gospels where he fed the multitudes and all the mighty miracles he did. And where it says, you find where it said, and greater things than these shall you do. All right, I'm going to get back to the meeting. I found this out on Grafted in Team Jesus at our meeting. I'm gonna, I told him I'm going to go warn my people, and I'll be right back. Okay, so you all have a blessed night, and don't you get fretful. You praise the Lord for tribulation. You hear me? You praise him. We praise him in this time of tribulation. We're out of here soon, brothers and sisters in Christ. We are out of here soon. And we'll be back to help those who didn't get to go. They still need heart healing and deliverance. They still need to forgive somebody or quit some sin. I don't know what it is, but something's going to get lots of people left behind. And they're going to need our help. And not the ones that took the venom because that's too late, unfortunately. Many things will happen that you might not understand, but Jesus will explain it all, and we will know what to do. That's all I'm going to say about that. Okay, bye for now. Talk to you later.